we've got a lot of truces with the people that we really want to be conquering land from. So it looks like we're just going to be laying low for a little bit, drilling our armies up, getting stronger. Because we have uh, 20,000 force limit, by the way. 20,000? That's, that's no small number, my friends. But I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and welcome back to Flavor Universalis. We are Flanders, the beautiful, stupid, sexy Flanders. And uh, I've been having a blast with this campaign. I hope you guys have been as well. If you are, make sure you let me know by leaving a like on the video. And if you want to support me, I do have a Patreon linked in the description below my videos. Patreon support really is what let me, lets me do what I do. So if you guys want to support, Patreon is the best way to do it. Um, but anyways, let's turn this edict off over here. Might actually be worth turning on the trade power edict just because there's so much trade coming out of this province. If we upgrade that, let's see here. Nice. An extra duck in a month. That is so good. Let's just power through these ideas. That's fine with me. Looks like we can yoink some crown land, so let's do it. Let's see what we want here. The hog manpower. Or a workshop in Antwerpen. That's fine with me. I probably would want to build that anyway. So we're still working on this dike here. It'll be done when? August. It's fine. I can lose some Diplo mana. We're ahead of time on Diplo, so that's fine. As long as we're not having unrest or rebels, I don't particularly care. Looks like we're not going to. I'm actually going to have my uh, mercs come over there, and boom, just like that. Basically, we should never have to worry about them. So what's going on over here? England is at war again, or Castile is at war again. Castilian-Portuguese unification war, really? You don't say. You don't say... Portugal, you want some friend? You want some help? I'll help you. I'll gladly help you, man. Neutral attitude towards Flanders. No, I believe me. I'll be a good friend. You want you want to be friendly to me. Brabant's opinion of me goes up, or we get a half off level three production guy. Sounds good. Uh, level three production guy, half off, two freaking ducats a month. Screw it. We're going up to level four. Oh no! <laughs> And my, my, uh, the queen is, or the du duke has died. Long live the duchess. We got a five, two, three air yawn. That's okay. Or Jan. Is it Jan in Dutch or yawn? I know in German it's Jan, it's yawn. All right. So four, 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 not bad. Sadly, foreign spy detection is not the best. Um, I'm going to spend a little bit of admin to get our, sure. Spend a little bit of admin to make sure that we stay at uh, maximum stability. Eh, actually, I'll wait till we get tech before we stab up again. I'm okay with being at plus two. Succession of Yuri Potobrad. Align with our Polish brethren. So what is this? They got a Jigelian? Nuh-uh. Really? Wait. Oh, this must be Flavor Universalis. Interesting. So Bohemia now has an elective monarchy as well. Very cool. All right. All right. I like that. That's good. All right, so we definitely are friendly with them by now. Let's see here. You guys want to be my... I'm telling you, I will help you in your war. You guys are getting your butts kicked. If you want friends, take friends. I'm uh, pushing for a little bit of reform desire because I want to spawn a reformation center in, um, in the lowlands if I can. Okay. We will take you. Very good. Siege ability and blockade impact on siege. Very nice. Very nice. Um, all right. Subsidies. So our advisor maintenance is, is costing us quite a bit now. I think I'm okay with it, honestly. We have enough money that I'm not really too concerned about it. What's going on with our income, though? We're making 17 ducats a month over there. Burgundy's opinion of me goes down. Oh, no, anyways. I really would like to get a war with them in... Without Austria, that's a uh, kind of our main issue. These guys are gonna not have a tr have a truce for f a few more years, but this is fine because what we're doing is we're allowing our aggressive expansion to tick down over time, and so that's fine. Uh, the lower our AE is, whenever we declare this war, the better because we plan to take these three provinces from them. It's only fair. Let's see here. Are there any buildings that we need to be building? Doesn't look like it. A couple of manpower buildings, maybe. Right, we need to build that in 
Very good. Oh my gosh, these buildings are so cheap. Oh no, they're they're 90. I was thinking there was a lower price going on there. So own per bond and improve it at least 10 times. We can do that eventually. There you go. Institution spread. That is crazy, bro. <laughs> All right. Once we take those two provinces, we will get 20 burger loyalty and 100 diplomat. Complete the mission. While oh, we don't have the diamond district, sadly. But a little bit of extra dev there is nice. Truce with Liege is over. Doesn't matter. They are our loyal vassal. Land of cloth. Access to 10% of the world cloth market. All right. Really? So what will this give us? Textile manufacturing. Every owned province with cloth gains production of cloth 25%. So I have none of those at all. Um, that's not true. Okay. I have a bunch of them. So what does it say? What are these modifiers here? Oh, at least 12 base production. Damn. Okay. Well, we'll be able to do that because uh, we have plenty of Diplo mana to spare. We're going to be able to take uh, tech way ahead of time. Let's actually go ahead and do a little bit of that. So let's put these guys on dev cost. Bread is also... Very good. Wow, these are so cheap to dev. All right, let's put you guys on dev cost here. So we need 12 production dev. There we go. Now, how many of them is it? Five? Wait, did I not just do these three? Okay. Oh, right, because we don't have a, um, whatchamacallit? I'm very confused. Oh, it's building that one right now. Okay, so we have three done. Okay, four. Very good. Let's do a little bit of base tax burning. Now that should give us this one whenever we finish our count. Okay. 10% of the world cloth market, which uh, should come in pretty soon, right? Okay. So we have one more that we need built. So let's build it right, where are we at? Here or there. That's fine. I'll build in Breda as well. Looks like we lost our guy. Um. Hmm. I guess global trade power. I'd like. I'd rather have the trade efficiency, but global trade power is fine as well. We're making good money from it, so this is fine. Again, we're basically just sitting here until for the next nine years. I mean, unless I can get to war with these guys without Austria joining or with England joining. You know what I mean? It's like. Yeah, it's a bummer. Never wasn't able to get involved. That's going to mean we're going to have to be competing with a very strong Spain once uh, colonialism rolls around here. Um, keeping an eye on the reform desire. As soon as we're able to press the button, we're going to do it. And I bet our autonomy has gone down a bit. So make sure you're building up the force limit at all times. There's no reason to not be at your force limit. So just do it. All right. There you go. That one is done. Expand the what? Completed mission, expand the thinger. Oh, really? We have to get that one as well. Okay, so in order to get this one, all provinces in the Flanders area has at least 10 base production. We have that and has a marketplace. We can build that. Um, one of the following must be true. Either have four privileges to the burgers and burger loyalty or crown land of at least 50. Um... I can do that. Actually, that's fine because that'll give us an extra extra mana as well as um, keeping it the burgers even more loyal, right? So now we just need to build this guy in these two provinces. Is that what that said? Uh, let me see here. Marketplace in all three provinces in Flanders. Okay, we can do that. Yep, just need to wait for a little bit of money. Admittedly... We don't have a lot of money. So let's turn our army maintenance off here. Have those guys not drill for a little bit. Do we... Hey, uh, I'll keep my army tradition if I can. It's fine. Let's make sure we got an admiral on this fleet, though. 
we have all right very good we'll be able to take this again stay ahead of time oh nice the uh, central bank national bank rather i uh, can lose some navy tradition that's fine so free stability bunch of money which is nice i've been asking for that and then either interest per annum or inflation reduction um we don't have any inflation I mean, we, yeah, we even have economic ideas, so it's not like it really be benefits us, but that's fine. I will take the money and the stab. That is solid for us. Uh, and with that, we can now build the buildings we were talking about. So let's build you guys there and then see, make sure. So that should finish that base production of at least 10 and have marketplace in every province. We can do that. Um, and then over here, have access to 10% of the cloth market. So let's take a look here at our um, trade strategic goods and go to cloth okay we're very close so a couple of dev clicks will uh, go pretty far over here so let's do that um right let's make sure we have these guys on trade power as well that alone may be enough to boost that up i can lose some admin mana that's fine extra trade power will increase a hey, no kidding 10 percent exactly does is that ticking it is very good so as soon as we're done with these buildings, we will be able to click both of those missions, which is solid. This one, we need Brabant first. This one, we need to Brabant. And um, okay, very good. Cool. Exciting things. This is also really nice because look at this. It's building up our economy so much that uh, we're going to have literally no issues with our, with our economy for the rest of the game, basically. We're setting ourselves up for success. So uh, this mission tree is very solid so far. Um, very good. We're almost done with Eco. All right, so let's get a little more production. Let's put you guys here. Are you guys loyal? They are. Very good. Then uh, we can yoink a little bit of crown land uh, in a couple of months here. Very good. So this will give us um, Merchant cooperation, our ruler will gain legendary entrepreneur. That is not us. Actually, merchant cooperation. Yep, that is it. So legendary entrepreneurs. And then we will also gain burger equilibrium loyalty equilibrium for 10 years. That's good. Or 20 years. Five mercantilism. Every trade building will be upgraded for free ahead of time. And five mercantilism. That's pretty good. And uh, our poor production lines will ensure we never receive the poor uniforms event. That's good. That's a minus five morale event that you get every once in a while. Two base production in Ghent and uniforms will be produced in Ghent as well as a textile manufacturing in Brugge or capital and production of cloth 25%. Very solid. So if you don't know, this is a trade goods expanded, which gives local production efficiency. But more importantly, look how much money it's worth. And all these goods produced are increase, increasing the um, the trade value in this node. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're good. Oh, yeah, we're good. So solid. I am a fan. I'm a fan. Morale are making recovery speed for trading in uniforms, mostly because we're the only one in the world producing uniforms because I'm pretty sure we haven't even unlocked them yet, right? Uniforms are unlocked at Miltech 21. So, yeah, we will get that that uh, army army morale recovery for the rest of the game. I'm going to turn my army maintenance back on and have these guys go back to drilling. Let's get another general there. Very good. We're going to take the last admin idea before we work through tech. And uh, being ahead on Diplo is going to be good for us. And we'll continue to dev this up a little bit more as well. Very good. As far as edicts goes, I think we're right. Very good. So we don't have prosperity over here, really. Oh, we're so close. I did all that dev and I didn't have prosperity. Oopsies. Oopsie poopsie. So we got the legendary entrepreneur, which gives us 5% goods produced and 15% trade efficiency, which is really good. Naval doctrine, huh? Um, Fleet and being is usually what I do if I have like a seafaring army, like a big, well, heavy focused. Ship trade power is okay as well. I know a lot of people like this one. I'm going to go with ship trade power. And let's see if switching these guys to protect in Lubeck would be better for us. 
So we're making 2343. 2345. So it looks like it's about the same. Okay, that's fine. That is fine with me. Oh wow. That's a lot of money. Um I guess I'll lose the money. I'm not I'm definitely not gonna be losing um I'm definitely not gonna be losing stability if I can avoid it. Alright. Truce with these guys is still not up for a minute. Perhaps. See, hmm. Yep, I need to just I need to just be patient. That's part of playing in the HRE. Keep on checking. We're at a hundred, so the Reformation can spawn very soon. So we just needed to keep checking this, uh, this tab here every couple of months. No big deal. But uh, yeah, over here drilling. Look at this. Look how much we're getting. All right. I think we're going to get rid of the Banners of Flanders. And we are going to have these guys build up. Um, We can afford a few more cannons. So let's, let's go with a few more cannons as well. Cannons are not necessarily very good early on. So it's not necessarily a good idea to have a ton of them. But it's okay. Let's yoink Crown Land. As long as these guys are loyal, it doesn't matter if they're at 100%, you will not get the plutocratic coup. Because uh, they are... They're loyal, so... As long as they're loyal, you're good. I'll go with four, and then we'll build up to the force limit with uh, infantry. Four cav is plenty, in my opinion. And there we go, up to 25. That means we will be gaining one army professionalism every year, which is nice. Now, these guys are only... He's only a level one. I'm curious if we can get a better one. I'm going to fish for a better advisor there. Global trade power level two. Not what I was looking for. Improved relations is okay. Especially on the yearly tick. Next recover thing. Or next uh, government reform. Meritocratic recruitment. Advisor cost, burger loyalty, and equilibrium. Very good. I love the burger, so. And uh, cheaper advisors is just literally always a win. Literally, it's always a win. So, stacking advisors means cheaper millman or cheaper mana, which is good. There you go. More dev cost, policy, production efficiency, and goods produced. Now, take a look at this. 22.9. We were at like 23.3, so we lost a little bit of trade power by the looks of it. That's okay. So we got some force limit for our navy. Let's get a couple more heavies in here over time. Not the most action-packed episode, but getting a few of these missions done is very exciting for me. Um, So, yes. As far as I know, that's all of them. So this one here, we need ten, five more provinces in the Low Country region and own Brabant. Every province with its capital in the Low Country's region... Ah, so it says Dutch vassals, but I think it means every province, everybody in the Low Countries region, which Liege is included in that. So that's good. So I'm going to take these three provinces. Now, okay. So this is going to be a little tough. We're going to have to work with this. We may end up needing to attack Friesland. So let's get some claims on them for one. I don't know why I haven't yet. That would be very easy uh, clay to take because it's not very high dev either. Okay, I lied. They're both 14 dev. <laughs> not much dev. Canada, huh? We can start seeing what's going on around Europe. The spread is happening. Not bad at all. So leave a comment below and let me know how you guys are feeling about Stupid Sexy Flanders so far because I think it's pretty sweet. I, uh... Definitely I'm having fun with this. Let's make sure you're on there. Let's put you guys on here. That will give me better spy ability on Friesland, which is nice. And the reason why I'm using this guy here, the the improved relations guy, is because it will help out with our aggressive expansion takedown over the next three years or so until we attack these lads and we're able to steamroll through them and annex these three provinces. We're going to leave them as an OPM. It should be fine. Speaking of, who have you allied? East Frisia. So East Frisia did break free. And Saluzo. <laughs> and OPM down here. But here, take a look at Saluzo's ideas if you don't know. Now, I guess you can't really see them. But uh, Saluzo is very strong militarily. Even right there. Aggressive expansion impact and infantry combat ability minus 15. Like, they're strong enough that you may want to form Italy with them and then keep your Saluzo ideas. The only downside is you don't get any CCR, but you can just take admin ideas, right? Like, it's nuts. It's actually insane. 
The Burgundian succession has happened and they were PU'd by Austria. That is bad. That is bad for us. Aye, aye, aye. War with France. Keep our union with Burgundy or integrate Burgundy into the empire. Yes, please. That's what I vote for. Burgundy is no longer a valid rival. We can now rival Munster and we can rival France and we can rival Scotland. So I'll do that. That will allow me to do a couple of diplomatic actions here. Um, why can I not get a claim over here? Oh, right. HRE. Cost extra. So let's first off embargo everybody that we are rival to. Uh, Munster. Very good. So then you do a regular insult as well. 5 PP for that. And then a scornful insult with these lads. Which will give us 10 PP. You suck. And I hate you. Having big PP is really good for us. So we don't want to embargo them. And there you go. So now our PP is at 73. Not bad. So yeah, it's quite expensive to get claims within the HRE, but that's okay. So we have a truce with them until 52. Okay. We got our first claim. The rest of our claims are all permanent. Ooh, nice. Siege pip. Good old drilling. We are finished with that. So let's take that. That 20% production efficiency is really good as well. Acts of uniformity. Sounds good. Still can't convert. Man. The reform... I'm, I'm curious. If you guys know how to trigger the ability to even do it... Is it, it's an event, I know, but does the event just have a time, mean time to fire, depending on reform desire over 100 or, oh, nice. Integrate Burgundy the Empire. Okay. Integrate. That's good. That's really good, actually. So that means I can do this literally right now. Wait like one day. Wait till the end of the month. I could totally attack these guys right now. So Burgundy is now independent and they're a member of the HRE. That is so good. That's really good for us. <laughs> um, that's more tags that can convert as well. Um, I forgot Savoy was even my ally. I won't be able to do anything though, because the 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 AE is gonna be too much for us. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Good to know for later. That is awesome. When exactly is our truce up with these lads? July of fifty, or July of the the whatever the thinger. All right. Next one. Uh, combat bonus of capital because it's farmlands. There's plenty of farmlands over here. So it's good. Papal State loves me. Hamburg loves me. That will give us a half off diplomat. Sure. Yo, Hamburg, you want to be my friend? Yes, please. I'll leave an ally him. Oh, nice. We got two siege pips, I'm pretty sure. Either that or we got a maneuver and then a siege pip. But drilling your armies is a... Uh, Worth it if you got the money. Looks like we're not built up the force limit again. It's crazy. Our force limit has gone up so much in this last episode. All right. So let's see here. Uh, we should probably build some shipyards, yeah? If we want to be a naval superpower, we're going to need the navy. What's our force limit at? It's going to be up way higher than that as well. So let's just build up to our force as many as we can. And that, that'll that put us about at our force limit once we build our shipyard. So that's good. And uh, we're just waiting because our truce with them isn't over until July. But obviously we're going to fight the war in the next one because this is about wrapping up time. I hope you guys have been enjoying the campaign because I have been really enjoying it. If you have been enjoying it, do let me know by uh, leaving a like on the video. Nice. I'll take the army tradition decay guy. Uh, leave a like on the video. It really does help me out a lot more than you may know. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. If you also want to keep up to date with what's going on over on the Discord, uh, subreddit, Twitter, anything like that. It's all linked in the description. As well as my, uh, my Patreon. Like I said, Patreon support really is big. It really is what allows me to do what I do. And uh, if you want to support me 
that is the best way to do it. So this guy's level three, half off. So we'll take him. Not bad. Not bad. That'll help us get our spy network. And these guys who got busted, sadly. So let's recall you guys. Ally, yeah. That'll finish that one there. Which will give us uh, improved relations guy who we may pick up eventually. But, uh, all right. We lost our general. That is so absolutely garbage. Does this guy have siege pips? He's got two siege pips, so we'll go in with you. All right. May, June, July. But yes, anyways, we're going to fight this war in the next one. So I hope that you guys are excited for it. And uh, I will see you in the next one. We are going to take Brabant. We could co-belligerent East Frisia. I would call him Munster. Hmm. That's okay. That would allow us to get a... Um, we'll call in Savoy. And uh, there we go. All right, cool. That's all. That's all for today, guys. That's all I got for you. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.